Normally, in Balloon 86, the balloons will spawn at the start of the track and race to the end. We've added a mod that allows the balloons to spawn anywhere on the map. This completely changes the way balloons is played and throws a lot of normal strategies out the window. I am not looking forward to this. I don't even know what to expect. Like, what am I going to be running up against? So if I do this, oh my gosh, look, the balloon just spawns at the end there. Wait a minute, that's outrageous. Okay, I guess I want to just put a submarine down, right? Because I feel like having a... Oh my, this is... Wait a minute. They're just popping up all over the place. This is this is wild. I don't know if I like this at all. Because they can spawn anywhere. This is going to make the game way harder, actually. How am I supposed to deal with, like, 63? And the balloons can just spawn at the very end. Okay, we're going to need to get a perma spike for sure. Perma spike is gonna be a must have. What else is like another thing? Global towers, I think, are also gonna be really important, right? I'll just have Sada down. I think like Sada, it'll be just be nice. I probably should have had a different hero. I think Psy might have been better for this overall, but all right, well, too late. So we could try to do Druid might be pretty good. I think having a pretty solid like defense back here might be worthwhile. Like, look at, oh my gosh, the blue, they're just everywhere. They just spawn everywhere. They just pop up. We definitely want to get a perma spike because if a Moab spawns right at the end, I kind of just lose, right? But we, ooh, I don't know what's the best option to deal with this because obviously making like AOE damage is not that good. So mortar monkeys, really bad. Bomb shooters are not going to be that good. I think we want more global range type of stuff that allows us to deal with this. And allows us to pop balloons from like all areas the submarine's doing really good actually the subs kind of just super carrying us let's just like get ourselves a banana farm i kind of want to just put a ninja down but like right here because if i put a ninja down right here it does allow my sub to be able to hit camos as well so i think that's going to be really good we're already losing lives this is not looking good for us we're losing our match like see look the pink balloons we just got pink balloons spawning right here. All right, we need to get deadly spikes because we're already at like 50 lives. This is not looking good. All right, ability. I need white hot spikes or else we can't deal with lead balloons. Come on, come on. Okay, we just got white hot spikes and now long reach and then let's get smart spikes as well. I just realized this makes Sada's ability really bad. Like Sada's sword dance ability is just not that good anymore. Right? Because it just doesn't... Oh my gosh, this changes so many things. Let's get long life spikes. This thing already has 238 pops. This thing is already... Okay, long life spikes. Let's go ahead and just get that. All right, Sada. Thank you. Okay. I'm feeling Sniper Monkey. I think Sniper Monkey is going to be a really, really valuable asset for us to have here, right? Especially like a bouncing bullet sniper. I think that's going to be really nice to have. Are we okay here? Yeah, we're doing okay. Yeah, the balloon spawning at the end here is quite spooky. And I don't know where to put... I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and get us a little monkey guy. All right, night vision, shrapnel shot. And then let's, let's just get, like, fast firing. All right, this is a lot... Wait, why is he firing? Where is... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. That was weird. He just, like, fires randomly. All right, the sniper is definitely going to be very nice to have. How in the world are we supposed to deal with a Moab that's going to be showing up soon? That is not good. Moab is, seems so spooky. Okay, the banana farms have been very worthwhile for us. I do not want to deal with round 95. Round 95 is going to be brutal. Do we just hope that the Moab doesn't spawn, like, right at the end? Because if the Moab just spawns right at the end... Okay, I need to get heat tip darts on this guy. I just need this to be able to hit lead balloons because I do not have enough lead popping power right now. All right, we've got a little bit of money, but not enough to be able to deal with a Moab. I think I want to just get deadly spikes. How does this sound? I think deadly spikes is the play. I want to get a perma spike anyways eventually. I think we have to have a perma spike or else we just lose. Because if a Moab just spawns right at the end, how in the world are we supposed to deal with that? So we got deadly spikes and that's going to be helping us out tremendously. I think our sniper monkey has been doing quite a bit. Okay, the Moab didn't spawn, like, right at the start. Okay, that's good. All right, because if the Moab spawned at the end, we just lose. We actually just lose. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get bouncing bullets. I'd like to get supply drop because it'll get us a little bit more money 
and it's bouncing bullet. You know what I just realized is bouncing bullets also like not that good. I mean, he's got 2000 pops, so he's doing pretty good actually. And let's get supply drop, regular attack, damages lead balloons and increases shrapnel. Nice, okay. That's gonna be proving to be a little bit better for us. The subs actually doing pretty good. Mm, let's go ahead and get ballistic missile, very nice. We have $500. Maybe we can just upgrade some of these banana farms. Try to get a little bit more money from them. That seems like a pretty good option overall, right? Fortified ceramics. Oh my gosh, they spawn like right here at the end. My goodness. Okay, banana, there we go. I'm trying to get as much money as possible because you have no, we have no idea what we're going to have to deal with. If we're going all the way to round 100 and beating a BAD, we need to be prepared for whatever comes our way. I kind of want to get like an ice monkey just to like be right here at the end to help like slow things down, right? I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking what we should do. All right. We now have these, which is good. All right. The Moab spawned in a pretty good spot. How much is it? $32,000 before we can get that. What is going to be a good tower for this overall that can help us deal with like everything? I mean, more snipers, I think, is going to be really good. I think I want to get Elite Sniper because it gives faster reload. And then I want to get a, a Cripple Moab. Because if we can get a Cripple Moab, or maybe not Cripple Moab. What's the... Is Cripple Moab is the T5? Yeah, May Moab. If we can get May Moab, and then it can just stun the Moab as soon as it spawns, that would be really good. Because if it spawns right at the end there, I'm... We're done. We're toast actually just see look at the bow up oh oh i'm so glad that i have that 2000 pops on this is oh it spawned at the end again oh my gosh okay nice okay elite sniper good very good give me another sniper and target strong for sure and then i need give me may moab five thousand dollars for may moab seems a little bit aggressive all right, main Moab, good. So now when Moab spawn, he'll be able to just stun them because we are going up against round 60. And round 60 BFE spawning right there does not sound very fun. It does not seem that great, to be honest, okay? All right, where's the... Okay, the BFE spawned pretty... Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, no! Wait, round 63 is right around the corner and I don't know how I feel about round 63. That might be a huge problem, actually. I'm going to be greedy and get a banana research facility. And now I need to be... All right, what do we want for round 63? What is a good option for being able to deal with this? You know what's actually going to be really nice is I, I really want to get a druid. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all of them spawn right here at the end. Okay, get a druid down. And, and we need to get a druid of the storm. Because we need to be able to help push back the balloons, right? And just give us a little bit more time to stall. Thank you, thank you. And then maybe just Druidic Reach. That seems pretty good. I think that's going to be a very good option. Nice. And that way we can just push balloons back as they try to get to the end. I think that's going to work out very, very well. What is our next strategy? What is the next thing that we need to get ready for? If we can get a perma spike, I'm going to be very... Oh my gosh. Wait, BFB right there at the end. Oh my, wait. The Druid is really good. The Druid is really good, actually. I am a big fan of that. Oh, wait, you know what we, I think we also just want the other sniper path. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but the sniper path, he does fires faster the further the balloons are along the track. And so since the balloons just spawn at the end, he's just going to go crazy on them. And then we can also just get shrapnel shot because it also gives him camo detection. So as balloons spawn at the end of the track, he's just going to be firing faster. So this actually makes him way stronger. I think we've got a pretty good defense here in the back. Unless something just spawns instantly to ruin my day. But again, we've got the snipers. And I think the snipers are doing very good. He's on elite targeting. Do I want this guy on elite? I don't think so. I just want him on first. I want just whatever spawns here to just be gone. I don't want to have to deal with any kind of shenanigans, okay? Maybe like a Sarbomba or like an ability just like as a panic option. Really, I think I have to go ahead and just get myself perma spikes. 
Because round, like, once we get into the 90s and DDT start spawning, if DDT spawn around here, I just lose. I just lose. And if I don't have perma spike ready to go, like, look at the BFBs. They spawn, like, right there at the end. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the ceramics. They're just everywhere. Ah, uh, but it's beautiful. The snipers are goaded for this challenge. The snipers are so good. Global towers, especially snipers, is they can just spawn camp them. As soon as it spawns, we have nothing to worry about. It's time for us to go ahead and get perma spike. Thirty-two thousand dollars is kind of an investment, but I think it's. I think this tower has thirteen thousand pops. That's insane. I need to use ball lightning druid more. That's so good. Oh, whoa, look at all these ceramics. Done, dealt with it, nice. Okay, we got perma spike now. All right, what is another tower that we wanted? Sada also has 61,000 pops. Thank you, Sada. Oh my goodness. It's kind of cool watching it and seeing how all of the balloons spawn. I like, I kind of enjoy it. I feel like it is actually pretty cool. Seeing how all, oh my gosh, look, fortified BFB just spawned right there at the end. Oh my gosh. ZOMG, that's not bad. I'm not too worried about the ZOMG. I mean, as you can see, we just toasted that guy. We toasted him. Kind of want to just put this a village down and just give these guys MIB for the inevitable, the inevitable DDTs that are around the corner. See, look at how close they spawn to the end. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Look at this, 27,000 pops on this Destroyer of Worlds. That is insanity. That's so good. You know what I kind of want, and I think it's going to be really good, actually, is a Glaive Lord. So let's put a Glaive Lord. I know a Glaive Lord could fit here. Have they made Boomerang Monkeys fatter? I know you could put a... I could have sworn you could fit a Glaive Lord here. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to put a Glaive Lord right here. Because Glaive Lord can now bounce everywhere. And that's going to be doing tons of... Look at this. See the glaives bouncing everywhere? And so since it has like global bounce range, it's going to be able to take huge advantage. I can go ahead and actually just get Cripple Moab, which is amazing. Allowing them to do even more damage. Do I want to just like put something here? Yeah, I can put the attack shooter here. Is Boomerang Monkey like a bigger tower? Am I like going crazy? All right, let's see where the DDT spawn. Oh, a DD? Okay. Oh, we're destroying the DDTs though. No worries. I could just get an Inferno Ring. That would be really solid. Just get an Inferno Ring, like, right here. Nice. And then we can just get... Boom. And then I can go ahead and then just get Primary Mentoring and Radar Scanner. And then we have, like, some epic Primary Towers right here. Nice. We just gotta defend. We just gotta defend from all of the shenanigans coming up against us. This is the only option that we got, okay? Thank you, thank you. Very nice, very nice. All right, round 95. This is where it's gonna get crazy. Oh my god, wait. There's so many balloons at the end here. Noth oh my gosh, this already has 70,000 pops. This is carrying us already. All right, let's see where the DDT spawn on this. I am so nervous. Ready? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. They just aren't, but our, our snipers just instantly. Look at the elite defender. He has nearly 300,000 pops. He's crazy, because the balloons just spawn at the end, and then he just goes off on them. Nice. Let's just get an alchemist now. I can just get a perma brew, and now we are good. We are good to go. Nice. Now we just have to hope the BAD doesn't spawn just, like, right at the end. Because if the BAD spawns right at the end, I think we lose. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at them. They're everywhere. Let's go. Yeah, Inferno Ring, 150,000 pops. Very nice. I could also just get a Super Storm. Super Storm would be pretty good. All right, here we go. 99. And let's see. Oh, no, we're fine. Round one. It only spawned here. It has to go all the way around. Let's go. GG. Thank you guys for watching. That was epic. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.